All right, Nick Reed here with the review of the um, Brookstone combat helicopter. Uh, sold just in one, but you, if you buy two, obviously you can have combat with them. Um, the, uh, as I said, this is a review, and we will be starting with our controller right here. Um, this is a very nice beginner controller. Let's just start with that. Um, it's got a little Brookstone advertising right there. Um, you see this red light that just means the controller is on. If this red light is blinking that means your uh, your helicopter isn't synced up to the controller. So um, I'll show you how to sync it up and everything. And if you turn this off, off, red light goes off and then you turn it on, red light's on. See, so now it's not synced. Uh, you pretty much have to sync it every time. You turn it on. Right here is your A, B channel selector. Right here. Right here is your throttle. It's not spring loaded, so you can keep it up and just keep flying, or you can put it like maybe hover and just totally hands free uh, and just have it hover. Um, and then over here, we have your swivel. Uh, I don't know, pan, I don't know what you would want to call it. You got that. Right down here, we've got our trim. Trim right and trim left. I'm sure you can't see that. There you go. Um, just mainly for just minor adjustments. Um, nothing huge. Just, I'll show you some trimming techniques later. Right here, we got our charging cable. Uh, I'll show you the charging port on the helicopter. This thing just slides down right here, uh, opens right up, and you can just put all that cable in there. It's usually not doesn't get that much in your way when you're flying, so I just keep it out. Um, so that's it for the face of the controller. Now, the the head of the controller, I guess you would say, right here, your left hand um, button. This is your shoot button. So when you're in combat, this is the button that you use to uh, shoot your opponent. Right here is your receiver. Your transmitter, I guess. It would be like an antenna on a RC plane or whatever. And yeah, so that's, that's the basics of your Brookstone combat helicopter controller. All right, now we'll move on to the plane. Helicopter, I'm sorry. All right, this is the helicopter you get right out of the box. No assembly, nothing. You don't have to assemble the rotors. It's a very small helicopter, very beginning beginner's level helicopter. Um, let's start with some of the features. Turn the helicopter on. You have your tail light. A very, there you go. Tail light, red and blue. I guess supposedly, supposedly supposed to resemble police or something like that. I don't know. Uh, you have your life bars up here, right there. The arrows pointing, kind of looks like. Well, those black things, the arrows, right, right over my uh, index finger, right there they light up red every time you get shot and on the third one your helicopter it'll it's harmless it'll just spin and spin and just hit the ground and then you'll regain control after about five seconds um very fun i mean me and my dad we i mean we we have three hour long sessions where we just play charge play charge play charge uh battery life on these are about five to five to ten minutes five to seven minutes long charging time is about twenty minutes to a half hour so it's it's a little it's a little hard in that aspect of it but i mean they're fun when you're playing them it seems a lot longer than uh five to seven minutes long uh you got your counter rotating blades right here for just very stable. This is a very stable helicopter. You got your stabilizer bar 
right here. Um, we've got our tail and tail rotor. Uh, this doesn't like counter rotate the plane because you've got those counter rotating blades up here, but this will like push the plane forward or push it back for forward or reverse. Um, and right here under the plane, you have your on off switch, which I'll try to show you. on off switch right there and then your charging port right to the uh, left of it so your charger just fits right in there and it's charging alright so that's the basic gist of the Brookstone uh, combat helicopter so I'll do about a maybe a minute long flight here I'll show you how to sync it up. All right, first, how you sync it up? You turn your uh, plane on. You know it's on when the thing's blinking back there. All right. Now I don't know if you guys here. All right, and then. And, uh, you have your blinking. You have your blinking light right here. You have your throttle. You very gently put your throttle up and then put it down again. I'll put it, I think it's halfway. Sometimes it helps. There we go. So there it's all synced up. It helps a lot if your uh, receiver right here is like pointed like right at the helicopter that helps tremendous amounts so now we're gonna fly it alright very stable Almost crashed. You got your forward. Backwards. Alright. And then I've already trimmed it out, but just whichever way it's moving, you trim it the opposite way. Sorry, it's uh, it, it is very easy to land. Sometimes it's just easier to cut the motor and uh, catch it in your hand. <laughs> uh, but so there's your review of the Brookstone combat helicopter. Um, the other one, there's only two colors, silver and green. The other one's exactly the same except green, tail and everything, tail lights and everything. Uh, so subscribe and like this video and next video I'm doing another helicopter review it's different uh, company but same kind of helicopter so uh, thank you and see you next time